Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play yet another No Name Aim game. Today's No Name Aim game is US AAF Mustang. And it looks like a pretty rockin' game. Unfortunately, it only looks like a really rockin' game. It doesn't sound like a really rockin' game at all. Fortunately, my arcade machine is a little bit on the fritz, so unfortunately, the music is not really working for this game, which is a shame, because, I mean, it really does look like it's rockin'. And I still have auto fire from uh, Funky Fish Salon. I mean, what am I talking about? I record these each day and not all in bunches. So, and this game is, of course, typical 90s shoot 'em up. Although we do have the interesting element of bombs going on, where you can um, bomb what's on the ground. You can press the second button for a bomb. I mean, like a super bomb, you know, the kind that makes you invincible, not the kind that makes you go tanks. And. I mean, it's got really fast and fluid horizontal shoot 'em up action. This is solid game. Sadly, no music, but it's not really their fault. Yeah, no, this is pretty rockin'. You'll just have to imagine the awesome soundtrack in your head. And maybe add in like a couple snare drums. Overdriven guitar is a must. You've got to have like a nice synthesizer beat. I'm thinking four to five notes, repeating sequence. Um, add in. Well, add in a little bit of raspy static too while you're at it. Nothing completes background noise like raspy static. And then all the instruments dim as it goes into a rockin' guitar solo as we fight the boss. I'm thinking that'll work. Man, I should become a composer. I could tell vague instructions to a real musician, and they could make the music. Well, that boss sure knew how to dispatch of me. Well. At least the coin entry sound works. Come on, can we get to 99 before that gets to zero? No, we can't. Oh man, you gotta love an arcade machine where you can put in 99 credits. Also, you have to love anyone who would actually put in 99 credits to an arcade machine. Even if it was, like, money they knew they would get right out right away. 157 enemies died! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> also, too, I think that's inflated. Like, I'm probably killing two people per airplane. But no, I, I love the phrasing. 157 enemies died. It's like, you didn't kill them. Oh no, they, they just died of mysterious causes. Mysterious airplane shrapnel related causes. <laughs> This is a great game, and I, I wish that my arcade machine could do it justice. Alright. Can we get to 99? It's kind of like Konami track and field where you have to, like, button mash. Oh. But you still get the, um, nice coin entry sound. I didn't really like that about some of the games that had, like, awesome coin entry sounds, but you can only enter in so many credits, and then after a while it just kind of shuts up. It's like, that's not what I want you to do. I want you to keep making noise forever and eternity. And we fight weird mini-bosses. I'm pretty sure real air combat wasn't like this, where they had the multiple airplanes of different sizes. Holy crap, this... I mean, I can definitely appreciate that they made the shots, like, blow alternating black and white, but... I can't really appreciate that they made these patterns, like, impossible to dodge. They're not even really patterns. Also, note that the uh, 99 did not go down. So this game it can actually hold more than 99 credits. And that sounds like something that'd be cool to test, but also impossible. Wow, this... oh my god. And the best part is, if they're not, like, wigging you out, then they're probably giving you a seizure stupid lights. But hey, I can deal with it. Wow. That's really seizurific. And you're probably getting it on the YouTube, like, 30 FPS, too, where it's like, they're probably all black or something. You're like, what's the problem? No, they are alternating, flashing black and white. It's like a storm of flying Dalmatians. Oh my god. That being said, the action is fast, frantic, smooth, fun. There's, like, a lot of stuff happening. It's definitely challenging, as my, like, three consecutive deaths have probably shown. This is a game that I really kind of wish it had music. And you hear it switch to a different synth, and 
keeps trying. It, it really wants to shine. But unfortunately, it's not working out. Sometimes, I mean, that's just kind of the tragedy of life. You try to shine, you try to do your best, but sometimes outside forces get in your way. It's a lesson we can all take to heart. Another thing we can take to heart is these flashing black and white strobe bombs. Not, not my cup of tea. Oh, but check out the um, background. Nicely rendered, smooth um, mountains. <laughs> Stage 2 finished. Brute force! Also, are we... Yeah, so, I mean, we're playing as the U.S. forces. And guess who we're fighting? We're fighting the Japanese. But this game was made by Japan. All I can say is, Japan's views on the world are pretty weird. Dang, well, a Mustang. A flying Mustang. I just think Mustangs drive on the streets. You can have a flying Mustang. High score? Oh, yes. Totally won and completely not bought. Man, this really gives a whole new meaning to, like, buying stuff with money. Well, I mean, like, stuff that you should have earned yourself, but you buy it with money. You buy scores on arcade machines. I've never thought of it like that before, but maybe it is like that. So we are mercilessly slaughtering these swarms of one-hit kill enemies, and then the big guys come in. I tried pressing bomb, but I don't think it's too immediately It doesn't immediately respond. As is the norm for shoot 'em ups. Where they put the bomb on like a little bit of a delay timer, so you can't just use it as like an instant not die switch. Although I gotta say, that's like the wussiest bomb I've ever seen. It just makes you glow and then it shoots a giant one out straight. That's. Okay, uh, the honeymoon period is over. I'm starting to dislike this game. Oh my gosh, it's, I mean, it's just a clusterfuck. There's just so much stuff coming at you. I mean, it's becoming more and more clear that there's no real coherent thought behind, like, how you should play this. They just decided to throw a bunch of stuff at you. Let's kind of see how the game over screen is going. Although I do love the awesome cloud, and these are, like, great kind of graphics for the day. I could do without the crazy static hissing in my ears at all times, but, I mean, so when you make a shoot 'em up game, you want to kind of have, like, this clear path, or this, like, clear way a player can dodge any scenario. You don't want to just throw, like, random stuff at the player and have, like, cheap deaths over and over. That's why I especially like bullet hell games, because... You always have faith that the developers have given you a way to always get out of every scenario without resorting to bombs, like, every three lives. I mean, you always get the sense that skill will always beat out over credits, but... I mean, this probably predates bullet hell, and... I don't really get that sense, I just get the sense that they decided, let's have 70 enemies rush this guy on screen. Not, not a very good showing. That being said, I mean, look at the bottom. Check out that parallax scrolling. This, I mean, parallax scrolling was kind of a big thing in the 90s. This was, like, right when they were really starting to, like, work on backgrounds and make th making things off. Oh, my God, that's, like, four or five planes of parallax scrolling? You don't even get that in a car sometimes. That's so much parallax scrolling. It's, it's better than real life, you. So, I don't know. I mean, it's a game that I really wish there had been more care put into, like, the gameplay mechanics and the game itself. Although maybe it's kind of like a uh, weird foretelling of the games industry where you focus on graphics to the, um, to the detriment of gameplay. So, that's been US AAF Mustang, Japan, Japanese version. So, this cat's got a scat.